Hey y'all. It's the one and only once again. <laughs> Jeremiah is here with a new crash video. Now there's something I need to preface before I get into the meat and potatoes of this video. I need to emphasize that Crash Bandicoot content is not something I hate to do. Um, it's just that there's nothing really grasping my attention too much when it comes to the Crash series in particular. And Grand Prix for me just aren't sticking with me like that uh, that much. Excuse me. And I'm actually downloading the update for the the the, the new Grand Prix with Mega Mix and all that right now. And I'm going to be hosting a lobby with a friend of mine. And we're going to be playing live as I discuss everything. Why is the camera like that? There we go. But I just want to emphasize that I don't hate doing Crash content. It's not that I think it's bad or anything. It's just that I know if I do a Crash video, it's most likely going to feel forced. But I know y'all going to eat it up. Which means basically it's going to get more views than what I usually do. Uh, other than Crash Bandicoot content. Uh, but it's not going to be healthy for me in the long run, so I'd rather not do it. So that's just something I need to re-emphasize for people because I've said it on Twitter. I've said it in the community side of my uh, YouTube channel. But I haven't never really stated it in the video, to my, uh, at least to my uh, my knowledge, uh, if I recall correctly. So I just need, I just wanted to get that out the way. I'm rocking my Coco hoodie once again just for this video. Um, I had my friend uh, Dark Cloud. Um, he commented on my <laughs> Fatal Fury commentary video of the online session I had with a friend of mine. And he was basically asking, when's the next Crash video? Like, you know, Fatal Fury is cool and all, but when's the next Crash video? And I've had that comment, I've had those type of comments happen for about, what, two days, three days now? And it's it's kind of annoying, I'm not going to lie, it's kind of annoying. Um, <clears throat> but, wait, what? Oh my fucking god. I gotta update my system. Nice. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Carl's here. Say hi. Hello. Uh, we're basically gonna be talking about Mega Mix and all that stuff. I actually saw the trailer <laughs> with him yesterday. Uh, it was cool. This is actually the one Grand Prix I actually think I don't have issues with. Uh, mm. it's, it's dope. Um, I do like the, uh, theme that they're going that, that that they're going along with here, uh, mm -hmm. as well as the little Easter egg with Rusty Warris uh, being graffitied on the side of engine ship from Twin Sanity. Uh, that's also in a desert for some reason. Uh, Carl was mentioning that I think uh, he he said um, the TNT that explodes after you're done being chased by uh, Rusty Warris is the result of why engine ship looks like the way it does on the track, which. Wouldn't be too far-fetched in my opinion. Um, but the biggest glaring issue I have with Nitro Fueled in general when it comes to the game itself and its content is the fact that we're never going to see these characters again. Like half of these characters, more than a dozen or more than a half of these characters, we're probably never going to see again. Like Mega Mix, we're never going to see them again. Yaya Panda, never going to see them again. Real Velo, pfft. Never again. That cleaning robot from CNK, never again. I understand that, you know, this is a spinoff, obviously, and they're gonna try to cram as much Crash Bandicoot content in this in this shit as much as possible. So again, it's almost like a celebratory thing, like the Insane Trilogy, but this is like beyond the Insane Trilogy, and I feel like Nitro Fueled in itself is beyond Crash Team Racing on the PS1. They're using Crash Team Racing's name to basically get a quick buck because people recognize the game and of course the, the you know the official press release activision the owners they're obviously going to uh market it as such which it is um but only to a degree even if it is adding more content i'm not saying that it's a bad thing that they're adding more content i'm just saying it's kind of straying away from the original game's identity in my opinion and it's like it's starting to feel like its own new thing. And now I'm hearing people also discussing the possibility of a team-up mechanic similar to Mario Kart Double Dash, which... <laughs> it's odd because, like... <sighs> like, I get it. You, you wouldn't have Crash Team Racing without a teaming-up mechanic, I guess. But, yo, this legitimately just feels like an entire new game. It Like, it doesn't... Yeah. 
when I play this, I don't feel like I'm playing CTR. That's mm -hmm. what a remake is supposed to do. It's supposed to reignite that fuel. No pun intended, because of Spyro, but it's supposed <laughs> to reignite the fucking like nostalgia fire that you had for a game during your childhood it's nothing but a feeling you can't really describe it i don't have that when i play this i don't have it when i play insane trilogy crash 2 or even one or three so like i don't know if it's really just a personal thing it may be a subjective thing it's up for debate not that i want to do that especially with crash bandicoot but my guy um i don't know like this game is just crazy with the shit that it's doing, right, I think my PS4 is, uh, is is restarting now, so we'll be able to play soon. I know. But uh, yeah, what's your what's your whole uh, opinion on this and whatnot? On on the whole game, or on, on this Grand Prix. Oh, anything, whatever, whichever you want to discuss. So like, uh, as a whole, like the game, I pretty much agree with you. Like, it doesn't feel like a remake or remaster of the original Crash Team Racing, because already it's got. CNK tracks in here mm -hmm. and characters in here, so it's like already it's not even CTR, it's like a mixture of both. Then they also, like in the base game, they had carts from tag team, uh, skins from tag team. Oh, right. And even chicken stew as well on one of the tracks that was in the base, like, game from the start. So, like, it was even putting tag team content into it. Mm -hmm. So it was like all three mm -hmm. combined, and then. Obviously, with all the Grand Prix and stuff now, like these updates monthly, it's each with each update, it's going further and further away from what it claimed to be. Mm. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's like it's just it's clear. It's becoming more clear why they said it was Crash Team Racing because mm. they knew that would be more profitable. Mm -hmm. Like they could have just called it a new game. Like really, or reimagining even like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I will, I'm gonna let you speak, but I just want to say something briefly that I mentioned to you before mm -hmm. I started recording. Mm -hmm. I just find it hilarious that <laughs> people. I know there are people out there that are waiting for me, were waiting for me rather, uh, to, waiting for me to discuss the atrocity that is Megamix. <laughs> now, I think he looks great, okay? I'm just gonna say that now, Asha. My USB's acting up, so I can't really see my screen at the moment, but. Oh, fuck. Uh, I think Megamix looks really, really good. Oh, God, this thing's spatting out. Okay, there we go. All right, we're good to go. Oh wait, my All PS4 right. controls not on. All right, there we go. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, we're starting the game now. But ah, right, nice. <sighs> he is such a minor character. Not to say it's a bad thing that he's in the game. Let me just make that clear. It's just, bruh, 18 years later, <laughs> we seeing him again, and for some reason, people think that this is like. The, con the conclusion <laughs> honestly i'm gonna be real with you if this was the conclusion of uh let me lower that shit a little bit because it might be louder because i won't be able to edit it in vegas um but fuck that's loud um i don't see uh just say what you were gonna say my thought just left my damn brain whoa whoa what I was gonna say about um Dude, like it's add on this looks what dope. You're gonna say. This looks yeah, dope. It, right? This it looks, looks amazing, right? Yeah, this looks really good, but yeah. Yeah. Um it's not only like it it's weird how they thought it would be like they must have known it was a huge risk making him the only character mm -hmm. featured in this Grand Prix as well. Mm -hmm. One from what is it eighteen years ago and he was such a minor part in the game, like not even like every so when people play through that whole game, not everyone is going to aim for 100%. They're going to go for like a casual playthrough, yeah. most likely, right? Mm -hmm. So that means the vast majority of people who played that game probably weren't even aware of him yeah. like playing that game because he was a 100% like bonus. Like that's what he was. Like It's just so bizarre. What's your uh, PSN again? Oh, it's uh, Carl Cross. It's the same as my Discord. 
shit. I'm trying to remember if like they even have names in order on this shit. But um, I think it's like alphabetical order, maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah. okay, so what I was gonna say previously was just honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if like, like I, I kind of low key wouldn't mind if they did end it on this. That's just, I wouldn't mind either. That's just me, but like, you know that there's gonna uh wait. Why the fuck this nigga join? Yo, can I not kick people? <laughs> nope. <sighs> God. All right. Hold on. <laughs> you know, private lobbies aren't even private in this game. It's weird. <sighs> Trash. Anyways, um. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So basically, what I'm trying to get at is. <sighs> Mega Mix is a great addition. Um. Everything looks cool. In fact, I'm gonna play on the new track. Just for the sake of the video, even though I'm probably gonna nice. suck at it. But, um. <laughs> this is this is what y'all get. This is what y'all get. There's just nothing I can really say. There's nothing much I can really say when it comes to, uh crash at the moment and it sucks because i still do care for the series y'all might not think so based on the content i'm uploading as of late but like that's just a casual observation i definitely still care about the crash bandicoot series but only to such a degree because i don't i'm not the biggest fan with the direct the, i'm not the biggest fan personally with the direction of where the series is going this is gonna be highlighted in the comments. What, like, what I'm about to say. I need to preface that my whole purpose with doing crash content back on YouTube before uh, VNTV or whatever his name was, Canadian guy, ate all these other fucking crash troopers popping up out of their mama's pussy. Now, listen. <laughs> I did content solely for Crash to come back for relevancy. Granted, I did not get what I personally wanted. Oh wow. Okay, yeah. so now I know not to drive on top of those uh, paint uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, textures or whatever. But um, Splatoon. Yeah. But basically what I'm trying to say is my whole thing with Crash Bandicoot content was advocating for him to gain relevancy again by coming back. I tried it with PlayStation All-Stars. I tried it with a new game, and it didn't work out, essentially, for, like, uh, both, both ends. Now, one could argue because... You know, well, I mean, he came back at E3. You got a reaction video out. It's like one of your best reaction videos ever. I understand that. However, it was not something that I was personally advocating for. So, in that, in result of that, I'm not personally like fulfilled, and which means I'm not going to be the biggest fan of what we actually have, which y'all already know. I'm not the biggest fan of the whole remake thing. So, that's just me. That's just me. All right. So I had to edit because something popped up uh but anyways um a couple of things that my good friend here was uh mentioning was that uh, apparently there was some leaks dropping or something mm -hmm. like that also after this race i'm gonna look at the grand prix intro for the first time because I, I i haven't looked at that yet <laughs> you said uh, really? uh it was kind of weird or something like that yeah like the choice the made with it was weird yeah mm -hmm. um so do you want me to tell you about these leaks i know yeah, you can. We can discuss it, right, and then so, I'll look at the, so, uh, the Grand Prix shit. Alright, so basically, right, um... They did, like, a, a data mine thing, where, like, they found, like, stickers and stuff that are gonna be in the next Of course, no season. surprise. Yeah. So, um, there's a Emperor of Evil sticker. Mm-hmm. So, like, like that like, means he's like pretty the, much gonna be in... Like, fat-ass fake Velo? Yeah, like, the fake Velo, yeah, okay. like, the... So like the, his like head is like a sticker, mm -hmm. which basically means he's gonna be a featured character. Huh. And um, okay. there's like a, you know, King Chicken. There's like a space King Chicken thing where he's got, like an astronaut helmet on. So I'm guessing that's gonna be a skin for him. Ah. And the uh, theme of it seems to be like a retro future thing because so of the um. I am joining now. Um, it seems like a retro future theme because like there's like there's these weird stickers where it's like. Uh, I forgot what ear it is, but you know, like the Cuphead sort of style. Oh. It's got like cartoon like food that looks like that sort of style, but it's like it's set in space as well. So I'm I'm guessing it's gonna be like 
a weird mixture, something like that. Interesting. And then there's a so there's one driver called Who Could This Be or something. So I deleted the Who Am I thing and ah. replaced it with Who Could This Be. So that's basically teasing Velo, I think. <laughs> you know, like the fake one. And okay. then there's another driver called Joe. Yo, quit this lobby. Hold on. <laughs> Private match, not fucking matchmaking. My dumbass. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, matchmaking sucks. Yeah. Yeah. But um, um yeah, continue. There's another driver as well on mm -hmm. the list called Joe. Yo. Driver Joe, yeah. The fuck, they got Joe Button, the rapper, going on that shit? <laughs> what? I just, I just found that weird because, um, obviously there's Komodo, Mo, and Joe, right? Oh, but wait. Driver. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Are b both the brothers aren't in, right? They're in the game now, both of them, yeah. Ah, okay. That's so how like, much that's I've been out, out in the loop. Yeah, that is weird. Because it's like, there's already a character called Joe, so maybe it stands for something. Like, it's like... I don't know. Yeah, it's I don't know. Weird. Yeah, the other day, the other brother in the um, Halloween Grand Prix. Yeah. Huh. Oh my god, I remember what I wanted to talk about. Mm hmm So... <sighs> I know, especially because of this Grand Prix, Mm -hmm. People are expecting Twin Sanity to get some representation in it, in the game. Oh, yeah. And, uh... I know it won't be too surprising, but when it comes to the evil twins in particular, number one, I think they're the dopest. Dope means good. It's slang for good, by the way. I think mm -hmm. they're, like, the dopest villains in the freaking series. Bar none. Because they they basically ate Cortex's ass out in that game. Because yeah. because he was being a piece of, he was a piece of shit he was inconsiderate towards those two and I really like that about their uh, I really like that about uh, Twin Sanity talking about the mm -hmm. uh, the character Crash Twin Sanity is nothing but a Cortex game to me I don't yeah. look at it as the best Crash game but I look at it as a solid entry in the series because we learn more about the the main villain uh, of Crash Bandicoot so that's mm -hmm. my only thing with Twin Sanity but the other thing I wanted to talk about um, was the fact that like since the evil twins are dead. Personally, it's just kind of it would be kind of weird for me to see those see those two again And I remember you talking to me yesterday about the whole chicken stew Being in the same car and shit and how that yeah. could buy that could possibly like help uh, Victor and Moritz since they're basically twins. Well, yeah, they are twins and they, they stick together So that's how they could work uh -huh. in the car essentially mm -hmm. so Yeah, I just find that uh, interesting also, weren't you uh, telling me earlier about a dent being like the the same dent Rusty Walrus leaves after he's done chasing you on Twin Sanity? Oh yeah, like that's somewhere so, like, when in here. The, when the door shuts on him in the chase sequence, yeah, there's like a massive dent he leaves behind. Um, so when you go in like the segment of this track where like you're inside of the uh, the like the rundown ship or whatever, yeah, there's like a wall on yeah. the right side. Yeah. Oh, yeah, shit. yeah. So it's 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 like um. If it's you, on the right side, If you right? find it, just stop. Yeah, um... Is it this part here? It's <laughs> anguish ass. This is, okay. like, the best view for it, yeah. Yeah, I see it now. Wow! What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Did you just throw a missile and it missed? No, I didn't shoot anything. I had no items. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I like that. Damn, I still gotta get used to those freaking, like paint mines or whatever the hell yeah, it is that, that odd. I don't know why they why are they here <laughs> <laughs> this is like one of the worst tracks just cause of that alone like I like it aesthetically I really do but what the fuck alright so I'm gonna mute my mic and watch the Grand Prix live and then like you'll like hear my reaction after it's over so we're gonna look at this introduction <laughs> Apocalyptic turn as drivers race down the long 
Yo, I know I said I was going to talk afterwards, but number one, we're not going to ignore that frame rate dip in the gameplay of all the racers. Number mm -hmm. two... I don't even know if I like that voice. <laughs> the Mega Mix one? Yeah, I, I know it's new. Yeah. Okay, that, that ending is... Okay, anyways. Um, that was... That was cool. All right, so I'm actually editing this in. Like, as I'm recording this, the core video is done. But afterwards, my friend Carl Hill was asking me what... Like, he was asking me if I understood what he meant by the Grand Prix uh, cinematic being weird. So, if you could elaborate on that, you you, you can. And then I'll end yeah. it off. Or rather, like, right, the video so, will continue. Yeah, yeah. So, basically, what I said was something along the lines of... The, the choice of uh, Chicken Stew not being the hosts in this Grand Prix, like... Uh, intro thing it was just like weird because um their characters are literally their only purpose before like being in this game as racers right mm -hmm. last month yeah was to host a news program or like to report on races or whatever yeah so like if that's like a permanent thing they're doing now and like removing them as hosts and just that, having them as racers that actually kind of destroys their characters yeah exactly like because their characters were like news reporters or whatever but now they're just like they're just races, and it's just like. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna hope, I wanna say this is a one, one-time thing, but. Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> uh man, I want that Coco skin. That's all I really care about. I don't give a fuck about nothing else. Maybe if I buy that, she might appear. I thought this outfit was for Von Clutch when I first saw images of it online. Oh, the Cortex one. Yeah. yeah. Fuck. Why are skins so expensive? Bruh. The, right? This game sucks. It's like, no, let me stop. Let me stop. I'm not going to rant, okay? I'm not going to fucking rant. <laughs> but, um, Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> <sighs> See, this is why I can't, I can't vibe with this, man. This, this shit is just, no, no, no. It ain't for me, man. It ain't for me. But anyways... That's gonna be the end of this video. It's been kind of too long, longer than it w longer than it should have been. Carl, thank you for being mm -hmm. a guest on it, and uh, we'll we'll, we'll, continue, we'll continue playing CTR today. Uh, I will be streaming on Twitch later on, hopefully, uh, and I will be probably playing this with viewers or something. But for now, I'm gonna just grind in a fucking kart racer <laughs> for skins that should only cost like 200 to 500 fucking coins and not over fucking 1,000. <laughs> Uh, y'all people co-sign this like it's okay. <laughs> like, I get the game's fun, but that shit right there is just disgusting, man. <laughs> Fuck. Anyways, see y'all later. Have yourselves a good one. It's only 1.03 p.m. It's too damn early for this. Goodbye. <laughs>